How's it going guys? Boss Doss here bringing you a new video, this time with all of everything set up properly. Um, today this is the Mystic class. This is a brand new class that's been introduced into Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, this is a modded class and I just, I had to get this video out because this class is absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, it is the definition of versatile. It can do everything. It's probably the best class to play as the main character in your story uh, used to be like bards paladins stuff like that with uh, charisma being a great stat to use but this class mystic class just has so many options i mean it is insane uh so we're just jumping into it now for this specific video i did uninstall mystic expansion just because there was i mean it basically doubles the amount of options and there's already so many i couldn't even begin to process it um right here you're seeing one of my new favorite mods which is uh, allowing you to change your body type to be like carlac or like halson so yeah being able to be a giant character feels so fucking cool and you'll see one of the spells this uh character has is the ability to take on an even larger form so Ideally, I'm thinking maybe a dwarf with enlarge and reduce, and then um, his giant form spell that you'll see here in the Mystic class. So here we are taking a look at it, and I just want to read real quick. This is right off of the Nexus page. This is a mod uh, made by Zevo. So the Mystic is a class that was initially introduced in Unearth Arcana. For those that don't know, that is the unofficial form that people share content in the D&D world. Unfortunately, it never made into any official books, but now you can experience what the Mystic class could have been. The Mystic is a purely psionics-based class that uses their own mind to overcome various challenges and fill many roles. Mystics are versatile to a fault and are thus a very advanced class and not recommended for beginners. Uh, so, interesting part right here you'll see is that each subclass for the Mystic has their own benefits and um, you can't read those benefits on PlayStation, at least from what I can tell, from I've seen other people um, examining the class, they can just read it because they're on PC, they can just click on the information, but for us on PS5, uh, you'll see it says the subclass, and it says you get like bonuses per level, uh, but you can't read what those abilities are, so I'm just going to read off some of them. So, for the first subclass you'll see, uh, right now we're the Order of the Avatar, you get proficiency with medium armor and shields, you learn two additional disciplines, which we'll go over disciplines in a minute, and at level three you get uh, Avatar of Battle, you get a permanent aura, and everybody around you gains a new, uh, plus one to initiative, that's pretty good. Uh, Avatar of Healing, permanent aura, allies with uh, in nine meters regain two additional hit points from all sources of healing, that's pretty good. And Avatar of Speed. All allies can use Dash as a bonus action. That's not bad. That's at 14th level. At 14th level, though, I mean, you could go with a little better. So here, the Psionics get to take a pick of their spells and some cantrips. And we have some brand new spells and cantrips there. Um, we have some re-flavorings of, like, Mystic Hand, Light, stuff like that. Some very interesting ones. Um, like, uh, a, there's an Illusion spell that makes it so uh, enemies have a smaller cone of vision, which is pretty cool for the stealth. So here I'm trying to take a look at these abilities, but I'm not able to read them. You'll see them on the top right. So we're going to go through it. and we're, Right now what you're seeing is that as a mystic, you get to pick your subclass, which dictates what passive benefits you you actually get and then certain subclasses can uh, pick additional passive passives from um, a, a, a pretty large list it's it's kind of hard to put into words because there's just so many options so for example order of the avatar here uh, you're basically picking from two of the disciplines which are essentially like sub subclasses you get access to a spell list and an additional passive so if you go with the psychic focus mantle of courage your passive ability is to um be resistant to fear and stuff like that um and then they each come with their own additional spells that level uh with you and stuff so the ability to be able to combine these is driving me nuts because i have so many character builds i want to try and play right off the bat but this class also 
has abilities scaling to level 20. So you can use the other mod here, the, um, I think it's Uncurve Level. You can go from 13 to 20 and you'll still get that full leveling experience. So, I, I mean, I this is another 100 hours easily just for this class alone. Um, let me read off some of the special abilities for the classes. So we were just looking at Order of the Awakened. At level three, you get a, as an action, you gain advantage on investigation, insight, and history checks for one minute. Psionic Surge, as a reaction, you can impose disadvantage on a creature when you force it to make a saving throw. That's pretty good. In Spectral Form, you can take on the form of a specter and become immune to damage and having your movement. Okay, not bad. At 14th level. Uh, right now, we're looking at... That's Order of the Immortal. I'm a little behind. At level 3, you gain additional temp HP equal to your in intelligence modifier. At level 6, you get... At, as a reaction, you can have incoming damage. Wow, that's pretty good. And at le 14th level, Immortal will... Toggleable passive at the start of your turn. If you are down, you can spend psi points to regain HP equal to your mystic level. That's awesome. Order of the Soul Knife is the one I'm most excited for. I think Soul Knife is the class that I loved playing the most uh, IRL. Uh, Order of the Nomad we just passed, which is at third level as a reaction, you can cause an incoming attack to miss you and then teleport. At 6th level, you can increase the teleportation range of your discipline. So there's a lot of different disciplines that give you mobility, and this increases their range. That's really amazing. At 14th level, once per turn, you can teleport, but it costs additional movement speed. So just being able to teleport for free is great. Soul Knife. At level 3, you can spend Psy Points to give your weapons, your Soul Knives, a plus 1 enchantment. So for 7 Psy Points, you can get a plus 4. That's insane. Consumptive Knife at level 6. Whenever you reduce an enemy to HP, regain side points. That's awesome. And at 14th level, perform a regular weapon attack that cannot miss. Okay, so the fan the Soul Blades are going to be so awesome. I cannot wait. Soul Knife. And then Wu Zhen is kind of a balance of the two, I'd say. This is kind of the more spellcaster focus. So at level 3, you get, as an action, you can spend a side point and ignore a creature's resistance to damage. Wow. So that's really good. You can basically make a fire elemental take full damage from a fireball. Arcane Dabbler at 6th level, you learn 3 wizard spells, and depending on the spell level, you can use side points to cast them. And then Elemental Mastery. Uh, as a reaction, spend two side points to become immune to an incoming damage type. So not bad. These are all pretty cool. Um, now, this is where it gets really crazy. Psionic Discipline. So each one of these disciplines, you'll see, when you select a discipline on the right side of the screen, your spell list changes. Your, these are the spells that you just naturally have available to you. So each one of these options comes with a passive ability, and then three to five to six spells, depending... And, I mean, they're all crazy. Um, a couple off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember. Uh, the There's one for Mastery of Giant Growth. That's really cool. You get um, Tremendous Size, Bolter Strength. You'll see in the bottom right. The two that I'm focusing on right now I think are really cool is Brute Force, which allows you, you to use Psionics to increase your physical damage, um, unarmed damage, and allow you to jump and... Um, uh, throw enemies around and its last ability also gives you a plus 10 to strength checks now this is a really cool combination actually because there's another one here mastery of force that is very similar and when you combine these i think you get an insanely cool combination we're going to go over some of the spells right here so psionic focus brute force you gain advantage on athletics checks brute strike you can increase your physical melee damage depending on the amount of psi points that you put into it Knockback, you can send an enemy flying with a little additional damage. Mighty Leap, you can increase your jump size. Feet of Strength, gain an additional uh, to strength. So Mastery of Force is a great combination with these two because you gain advantage on athletic checks passively and you gain advantage on strength checks passively. So you're basically a god physically. You cannot be overthrown by anybody. You can push, throw, you gain a uh, subdermal armor, you can crush people and you can telekinetically throw them around. So this class, the Mystic, it's really hard to really put into one word, but it's kind of like the best parts of a Witcher, a Jedi, uh, uh, so many th the Avatar, so many things. But this is just a very quick breakdown. I'm going to do another video going over the expansion mod that go adds new subclasses and even more passives. 
but uh, if you're like me and you're extremely excited about this stuff and just can't stop theory crafting, then uh, be sure to stay tuned and watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one.